This episode of Transal Tactics is proudly presented by Gordon Food Service. Welcome to Trestle Tactics, a tips from Trestle Short. We wanted to know what's going to make our podcasts more valuable to you. And the answers were simple. You want easy to implement tactics and strategies that will let you create an outstanding experience around your senior living food and hospitality programming. So let's dive in right now on today's Trestle Tactics. On today's Trestle Tactics, I want to share with you something from my restaurant and commercial hospitality days that I've used throughout my career in senior living and will be helpful for all of you when it comes to developing your menus. One of the biggest challenges we have in senior living is finding the best way to not only present our offering, but how we can drive residents, their guests, and other visitors in our operation to choosing the menu items that we have identified as our winners. It's important to note that the professionals out in the hotel and restaurant space, they spend a lot of time on these three strategies, and I know they will help you better develop and design your menus for anywhere you have a presented menu, whether that's on a tabletop, a grab-and-go counter, or any other kind of menu board throughout your community. So let's dive into these menu design strategies. Our first menu strategy is what we call the golden triangle of menu design. So this is a really fascinating concept and it's got a lot of research behind it. And that research shows that when a customer looks at any menu, their eyes typically wander to the top right, then to the top left corners, and then finally to the center of the menu. So savvy restaurateurs use this pattern to their advantage by placing their high margin or their signature items in those strategic spots. This is not only going to highlight these dishes, but it's also going to increase the likelihood of these being ordered, which is your kind of way of subtly steering your resident and guests in choosing these things that are going to be better for your food cost, maybe fan favorites, or whatever it might be. When you think about the items you want to move and sell when it comes to your operation, you want to consider your golden triangle of menu design and put those items in those spots. The second strategy is really understanding the power of words and images. So I want to talk a little bit about the power of descriptive labels and visuals. Imagine choosing between a dish listed as grilled chicken versus something along the lines of a succulent grilled chicken breast with a lemon herb drizzle. Now, that may be something you don't have on your menu, but that description, it evokes taste and smell and texture. And our goal with doing that is that we want to analyze every set, making the dish more appealing and stimulating the appetite. Are you looking for new ideas? then you're invited to a once a year big show. Gordon Food Show, taste hundreds of new products, learn cutting edge culinary trends, attend expert led presentations, connect with industry specialists, special show only discounts, gain valuable insights. It's free to attend. The possibilities are limitless. Start here, go everywhere. Gordon Food Service. Additionally, if you can do it, adding some high quality images can really play a crucial role. I know in senior living, our menus tend to rotate. A lot of us use cycle menus, but think about those grab and go care areas, those cafes, those menu boards where you're highlighting items. It's a really great place where you can put a, a high quality image on display and really drive that powerful image. It's also going to make your menu super attractive, but it's going to help with those tri- trigger those cravings like we talked about. And it's going to push those residents and guests and visitors to order those featured items. This pr- strategy is really, really effective in encouraging customers to try new and unique dishes. So if you're struggling with a new menu item that you know residents will like, then what you should do 
think about using images and promoting it. Our third strategy is what we call simplification and the paradox of choice. So let's talk a little bit about what we call the paradox of choice. As we have evolved in senior living with our dining and our menus, we really start thinking about how do we offer variety and choice and selection for our residents and guests. So that way we can really stay competitive in these really, really uh, tight market. By offering too many options on our menus, it can overwhelm our residents and guests leading to decision fatigue. And what this might do is it might deter them from trying a new item or even making a decision at all. They may decide, hey, this is a hassle. It might be easier just to go back to my apartment and eat something I have in the refrigerator. So by simplifying your menu and thinking about limiting your choices to seven, 10 items at most, restaurants do this and you can as well. You can help make that decision process easier and more enjoyable. This approach not only helps in managing inventory and reducing waste, but will also guide your residents and guests towards these items that are going to be more profitable, have better food costs, are new and unique, and they'll overall will help enhance the dining experience and encourage more and more visits to your various venues. So as we wrap up this episode of Trussell Tactics, it's really important to note that the art of menu design is much more than just listing the dishes you offer. It's about being strategic in guiding those customer choices through placement, descriptions, and the visuals, ultimately enhancing your dining experience and increasing sales. So the next time you go out to dine, take a moment as you're looking over those menus to see how they're crafted and see if you can spot these strategies in action. Thanks again for joining us today, and we'll see you next time. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Trestle Tactics. Be sure to like and subscribe on any of our channels, YouTube, Spotify, or Apple Podcasts, or anywhere you listen to us. Also, be sure to follow us on any of your social media channels at Tips from Trestle. Thanks for joining us on this episode of Trestle Tactics.